righty. Now this is a point, uh, also known as a vertice in 3D language. This is going to be a horizontal line. This is mostly be, uh, representing calm, relaxed, and quiet. Okay. Diagonal lines are going to be masculine. Aggressive, they're uh, more powerful than horizontal, okay, this is because it's, you know, it's facing forward and it's, you know, it almost looks like a spear, right, so, and then you have your vertical Vertical lines are going to be more balanced. <clears throat> you know, show, showing more, it's more ordered, it's upright. Even Jesus Christ on the cross is upright. And then, and then you have your, your arc. This is enclosure. This, this is uh, this cups, right? Like a bowl, coffee cup, and it holds everything together. Kind of like bridges and and whatnot. So it relates. Okay. So in order to get to drawing like boxes. Right or rectangles. You have to you have to know how to do these. Right. There's the circle, and then from there, you can put them in three dimensional. Okay, a cone, a sphere. Okay. So, when you're, let's say if I want to draw a beer bottle, okay, I have to break it down into shapes, okay? So, I'm doing this from memory. So it's like a rectangle, right? And this will be flat. It's not going to be three dimensional just yet. Okay. And then you have your center, half point. Around the center would be another rectangle. Okay. And then there's the lip. Right around here, the halfway point, it will be part of a circle. Okay? So in order to draw the circle, you would have to create a box. Split it up, even in the small boxes, okay? Right around here. Well, we'll do it from here. You want to start curving it, okay? There should be like a 
diagonal half point if you split it up. Let's see, I think it's gonna be here. Yeah. So if you were to block out the circle, you would have to do the angles. All right. And then you could start curving everything out. <clears throat> so here it'd be, you know, it curves in like this. But that's also where the arch is going to be on the circle, somewhere around there. But, but in order to try and find that curve line, there's a barnstone method where you did do the diagonals this way, and then this way, and then this way again, showing all angles of a curve, right? You block it out in straight lines first, and then you curve it out. <clears throat> and then at the bottom, you know, it can curve out the bottom of the, the bottle. And then here's the lip, right? And then measure the bottle from a distance, you know, how, how big is it? How tall is it? Use your thumb, you know, measure the width. So, so box everything out and then round it out, okay? Find out the measurement of how tall it's gonna be using the boxes, rectangles, circles, right? The curves, okay? And then don't exactly copy what you see. It'll be too static. So draw the relationships of the lines first and then the shapes, okay? And then this will bring the drawing better than, it, than life itself. Even if you're doing like uh, faces. When I'm doing faces, there's a circle, right? And then I have to draw the front of the face where the eyes are going to go, okay? Even if I need to box it out, I'm going to have to do that, okay? And then I can just curve it out how far I need to go on the, on the curves. And then start getting the eyes, the nose, the lip, the chin. Usually that'll be all in the straight line here. The boxes and the lines are just gestures, okay? Just, just like if I need to draw the spine right here, it's just a gesture, it's quick. I just need to show the idea of where the placement is going to be. So, I'm drawing the chin, the jaw. The jaw comes up here. The ear will be somewhere in the middle along the line of the eye. Okay. And then I can start cutting this out. Okay. He's got a little big, big chin. But we want to focus on the bottle first so you can get the propor pro proportions right, your measurements right. Okay. And then, uh, let's see here. Because once you start doing this, Something has to unify a group of elements. Once, once you start putting in, you know, 
wine glasses and all that and other objects in there they're they're going to relate one another because of the the curves the shapes that you use okay and then after you understand drawing the shapes and lines you'll do a series of drawings of these okay so this this is your homework right now is you got to find a a beer bottle paint it white And then uh, put a lighting on it, like put a lamp somewhere, I don't know, shining down on it. Because once you do that, once you start showing, start uh, drawing it out, then, here let me do an up close of the beer bottle, right. Once I start blocking it out, here's the lip. Right. There's a line there, there's a line there. You blocked it out. Okay. Once you start doing that, here's here's the center, it's gonna be straight. But somewhere between here and where the angle goes, the angle on the side, the line will get more a little bit straighter right here and then again here once you get closer to the straight line it'll be a little bit straighter okay almost like animation you're making it look like it's turning right and the reason for this is so wherever the light's going to be right here you're gonna start putting putting in the shading right in there, okay? This is why you have to black things out. So you can understand. And then it gets a little bit lighter, right? Maybe a little bit lighter here, because there's bounce light maybe somewhere. And this gets a little bit darker. And then you can start smoothing it out, okay? <clears throat> but this is the reason why you want to do the angles first, okay? See how this is in relation to this? And this is in relation to this, okay? They have to be uniform and equal to each other and once you start blocking out the shading you can just smooth it out this is this is how you do the values okay be more concerned about the relationships the dynamics of movement than the accuracy of observation okay you don't want to draw exactly you know how the beer bottle looks how would it look if you blocked it out okay do that instead try and find all the angles would it you know would it be a rectangle first and can you, can you see it's a cone in there right here's the cone where the beer bottle curves but if it was straight you know They probably go in relation to right here. So here's the line, and this probably goes all the way down where the curve is, down to the beer bottle, okay? To where it starts curving, okay? <clears throat> so be more concerned about the rhythm, right? This is what I mean by rhythm. That the angles hit the same the same way of a beer bottle or the way the the wine glass is shaped 
right here and also right here okay be concerned about the rhythms of movement okay and don't worry about how much lines you're going to be putting it down uh, right now I just need to see the gestures like this okay so I think that uh, that I think that pretty much covers it out but there is more examples of you know paintings of you know when you go to the art museum or if you see like uh, some famous painting online go ahead and block it out with your eye and try and see if you can find those angles those relationships the you know the connection uh, if you can block them out you know if it could be a box or how they're how they're flowing together right there's 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 rhythm there's a lot of rhythm in a lot of the Renaissance paintings so so this is your homework get a beer bottle paint it white sketch it out just block it out real flat you don't need to do the three dimensions just yet because I need to see how you know you're gonna how the proportions are if everything's you know leveled out okay um, so yeah, try that out.